Good afternoon, seventh graders. We are starting a new unit today. Um, we're gonna be starting our natural selection unit. So there are, um, you kind of may already have a little bit of background information about natural selection. I know in reading, um, you are constantly looking at new people that you're researching. And one of them, I believe, has been Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is the originator of the theory of natural selection. So he went on a voyage and he found the Galapagos Islands. And in the Galapagos Islands, he looked around, right? So while this isn't the Galapagos Island, there is still a lot of things happening in our woods here. You can see there's different types of vegetation, you can see um, there's some birds flying around. The four things that he realized while exploring the nature of the Galapagos Islands was one, natural selection needs variation. So variation is just variety of life, right? Differences. They also needed to pass those differences on to their offspring and they have to overproduce those offspring right because in the wild not all of the babies are going to survive and then they also have to struggle to survive what does that even mean struggle to survive because he decided that only the best fit for the environment would be able to do those things, right? To be able to pass on the genes. So if you look over here, there's a bird in the leaves. Do you see it? Okay, he's able to blend in, which gives him a benefit of two things. Not only does it protect him from the predators, that are around, it's also gonna keep him hidden from view to be able to be more successful at catching food. This organism here is called a hooded merganser. Its adaptation is that it can swim underwater and it's a duck. So you are going to be, this week, looking at these ideas. What does it mean to struggle to survive? How do adaptations come into play? Hmm, adaptation. What is an adaptation? So an adaptation is going to be something that allows that organism to be different to be better fit. This video shows a river otter um, down in Milford, Delaware. What is the, what would be the adaptation of a river otter? What makes him best fit for his environment? So ladies and gentlemen, um, check out Schoology, um, look at the assignments. If you have questions, you know what to do. Send me a message in Schoology, check out a Zoom call, okay? Let me know if you need me though. That's what I'm here for. Have fun guys. Bye.